Hey, Hickok 45 here. Going to complete the uh, brass cleaning uh, uh, system I use. I brought everything out here onto the shooting table. It's probably best to get it outside when you're ready to dump all that brass and media anyway. Uh, of course, I'm in a shed where I do my work, but uh, this is probably a good place to do it. So I draw it out here with plenty of light and, uh, and room to move around. So the brass has vibrated for a couple hours. I could have vibrated a little bit longer. I didn't. Uh, you can see it all in there now. It's clean. It's not shiny. I didn't have any polish. I did spray a little ballast all just a little bit. I was trying to see what it would do. I think it turned all my media dark. But uh, anyway, this is reality TV. Uh, if I'm trying something, you, know, you see it too. So, uh, but I would, you wouldn't want much oil, you know, in there at all. And I didn't put much on there. Uh, so, this is, of course, the, the vibrator you saw in the part one. This is the case separator. This is what you haven't seen. Uh, pretty large affair. You get the brass inside this thing and then you spin it and it shakes all of the media out of the brass. Because what happens, of course, is the brass is full of the media. You know, and it'll dump out for the most part. Sometimes it's a little... Uh, it's a little difficult to get out of there occasionally, but most of the time it doesn't actually stick in there. So here's what this does. Here's how it works. You open her up, and you just have to grab this vibrator and dump it in. There we go. It's a little bit of a messy job. You just dump it in there. There it is. Close it up. The latch is on. Unlock it over here. There. And it's spin. Tumble in the grass. Because all the media comes out through these holes eventually. I wish you had your earmuffs on when you do this. And it's probably out right now. It's probably okay and ready to, to package up for it. I just like to make sure that it's all out because uh, be silly to have when you get through the press and have uh, you pick up uh, a piece of brass to load and it's got media stuck in it or something you know so that's not, no fun all right so there it is oh well, here's something I was telling you about earlier you want to separate your brass uh, there's a 40 it looks like got down inside that 45 no it's a 10 millimeter uh, nine millimeters the worst about that so you'll run into that occasionally but you want to keep your brass separate generally all right then what I do is I just put it back in plastic bags generally and uh, you know, put it back in a, in a bin for reloading. So when I'm ready to load 45 ACP, uh, you know, I have it ready to go. You know, just rinse it all out. It's all clean brass now and ready to go. Uh, that's basically the operation. I won't, you know, this might take a couple minutes to get all that out and get it bagged up and sealed, but that's the entire operation. Vibrate it and just dump it in there and get all the media out. And of course the media's in here, so what I'll do in my finish, I'll take this tub of media and just dump it back in there, seal it up, and I'm I'm finished here. I'm ready to go. Uh, one advantage to having a lot of brass, if you like 45 and you're gonna start reloading 45 or 9 millimeter or whatever it is, it occurred to me, uh, I haven't mentioned, is that if you uh, Say you have uh, just 100 pieces of brass. I never shoot more than 75 rounds at a time, so 100 pieces of brass is fine. Well, you get it loaded and uh, you shoot 50 of them, you shoot 60 or 70 of them, and you got your press it up to load something else. And you know you're gonna, on the weekend you're gonna be going to the range and shooting some uh, uh, nine millimeter, but you just have about 25, 30 rounds left. You don't want to switch off where you're loading 357 Magnum to load some. So anyway, long story short, it does help to have a quantity of brass in anything you shoot a lot of. Okay, so that's one reason it's nice to have a larger operation like this. So anyway, that's how I do it. I thought you might want to see part two there. So y'all take care.